G'day guys, Josh Bushwhacker here. Back at it again, I've got fever. I'm back on the Williams River, and this time I'm here to test out a homemade lure. It was a popper. I did catch a bass with it the other day, and I didn't film it because I wanted to have a social day, just to get away from the filming for a bit, but I reckon we'll get one today. So that's my goal, is to get a fish with a homemade lure. Uh, dog hasn't learned to jump in the boat yet, but he's learning. He's learning. He's a good boy. <laughs> he's a good boy. When I uh, dock my boat, I always like to put the bowline around the cleat on the wharf and I can make the adjustments on the cleat on the boat. That way you can simply just slip your rope when you're ready to go. Okay, so I'm just at the spot where I hooked on to the big fish the other day and dropped him. And I went back here the other day and had a couple of casts from a popper and had a few hits, but nothing, nothing took it. So I'm going to cast it and be a little bit more persistent with him this morning and hope for the best that this spot is the spot. Oh, see that? Did you see that? So that was a big slap. There's one hanging about. Oh, see that, see that, see that. Something went for it. Something wanted it. Oh, oh, there he goes again. Oh, there, see? Oh, he's on, he's on, he's on. I made lures, how we go like that? I made lures, hey? Oh, did he take me under the branch? I think yeah, look at that, mate. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, got him big time. Big time. Come here, Mr. Bass. Got him big time. Great success. It feels so good to catch fish on your own handcrafted lures. And uh, casted this one just near a branch and I watched him follow about three times. He, he bit at it and then yeah, he took it. He took it and I got him in the boat. So I'm really happy about that. That's the second fish I caught with this um, timber lure now. So I guess I'm gonna have to start making some more. Taking orders now, guys. Oh, good little hit then. It was a good little hit then. We go back for it. Oh, see that? See that? He took it. He wanted to take it. Now the strike zone now. Good old weed. Bit of a nasty weed there. Right over there. Right over there. Ah, oh, beautiful. Yep, 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 got him, got him, got him. It's good, because I was starting to get over this top water fishing. Come on, buddy. Got a fish, Jed, got a fish on, buddy. Oh, I watched him. Oh, I watched him. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? 
Let's see him. There he is. Nice fish. Oh, no, no, no. Yes. Not bad. Not bad. Mm, big time. Big time. Beautiful. And that's what we come out here to get. Look at that. Well, I can't argue with that result. It's working hard. Found a little cove just to get out of the wind and I cast it over near a branch and bang, he took it. I even watched him. That was really cool to see. But yeah, he's just a bit over 30 and uh, caught him on the homemade lure. You can't argue with those results. I guess you can say I got him big time. Right, so I've just pulled out the fish with the handcrafted popper I made and the day is getting on and I think I should be too. It's um, started to get real blowy too. The summer wind has really, really, really started early this year and it's kind of ruining the plans a little bit, but you got to work with what you got. It's been a slow morning. I've seen a few little slashes at the popper, as you would have seen, but yeah, I'm so impressed though that I managed to pull two in happy with that. Anyway, I'm going to make my way back upstream and head on home, but I hope you enjoyed today's short episode and I hope you're going to watch the next one. Just remember to give us a like and a subscribe. Hit that subscribe button please if you like what you see. There's plenty more coming. And also follow us on Instagram as well. You'll find me Josh Bushwhacker on there. Anyway guys, I will see you on the next one.